All right, peace, Israel. All praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And um, I did a lesson um, uh, maybe a few weeks back, and I believe it was titled Do This in Remembrance of Me. Okay, which we get from the book of uh, St. Luke, the 26th chapter, and um, I think it's the 19th, yeah, the 19th verse, okay? And this is the Lord speaking at the Passover before he was uh, crucified, okay? And um, today is so, you know, they what, what they call Christmas, okay, which is really, it goes back to uh, pagan, it has pagan origins, okay? It goes back to... Uh, uh saturnalia okay and um which is pagan and, and wicked okay and our people they're heavily off into uh this so-called holiday okay which when you read the scripture christmas december 25th none of this is is anywhere in the bible okay it's not in the scriptures anywhere okay nor did the lord ever say celebrate my birthday okay but he did say do something in remembrance of him which was to keep the passover okay which we have here in the book of saint luke uh 22 and i'm gonna go up a little bit and um i'm gonna start at 15 it says and he said unto them okay which the them is the disciples <clears throat> and this is the lord yahweh shy speaking he said with desire i have des with desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, okay? And this is very serious, okay? This is a solemn, solemn time, okay, during the Passover. It's not a time to be jovialent, you know, or anything like that. It's a very solemn, very serious um, assembly, okay? Because you got to think about, you know, the death angel was coming to pass over and you had to put the blood on your doorpost. Well, that's how serious it was. You eat the Passover in haste because we was on the move, okay? And before the Lord suffered, before he was crucified, they ate the Passover supper, okay? Which people call the Last Supper, okay? It wasn't the Last Supper, okay? It was the Passover, okay? And it was very serious, especially at this time because the Lord is about to go be crucified after that. He's going to be betrayed by Judas Iscariot, okay? And then um, he's going to be crucified, okay, for our sins, which we'll, let's, let's just get into it, okay? So just shows the severity of the Passover, okay? And this so-called Christmas, it's all about jovialency and, you know, and folly, okay? As the scripture says in the book of Ecclesiastes, folly is set in great dignity. That's why even though we're in the midst of a pandemic, a, a global pandemic, people still find the time and resources to sit and get out and, you know, get, get into the Christmas spirit, okay? We're not supposed to be in a Christmas spirit. We're supposed to be in a, 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 a spirit of really war, as the book of Ecclesiastes also says. There's a time and purpose for everything, okay? And right now, we're not in the time of, you know, having, you know, all, all of those things, having fun, okay? And this is not the time of the Passover, okay? Not to get it confused, okay? But I just want to speak on this Christmas so-called holiday and what the Lord said to do in remembrance of him. He didn't say to remember the day I was born, okay? Because also in the book of Ecclesiastes, which I'll get that scripture, uh, the day of uh, death is better than the day of one's birth. But let's get into this. I don't want to talk too much. Luke 22 and 15, and he said unto them, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, 
I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of the heavenly father shall come. And he took bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Okay. Revelation one and five. This do in remembrance of me. Okay. Likewise, also the cup after supper saying, this cup is the new Testament in my blood, which is shared for you. Revelation one and five. Okay. And if anybody is not familiar with that scripture, read it. Okay. But he beheld, behold, uh, verse 21, but behold, the hand of him that betrayed him, betrayeth me is with me on this table, on the table, Salakia. Okay. And truly the son of man goeth as it was determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. Okay. And, um, Real quick, um, let me go to the book of Ecclesiastes, matter of fact, all right? Just put this in, it should come up. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1, a good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth because you're out of this flesh you're out of this hell okay you refrain from going off okay you return to the spirit world okay that's why they say rest in peace okay so this is contrary to celebrating birthdays we're not supposed to be on that okay let alone let alone remembering the day that the lord was born okay he didn't say celebrate my birthday okay which the Lord wasn't born on December 25th, okay? December is not in the scriptures at all, okay? So we got that. Now I want to also get another scripture. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, all right? And this is a familiar scripture that we bring out, all right? When we go in on this uh, Christmas so-called holiday, all right? This is Jeremiah 10 and 1. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear, Salaki, hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Okay. Turn that down. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay. We're supposed to be holy, separate. Okay. A righteous seed. All right. A righteous vine. Okay, but as the scriptures say, we become uh, our, the majority of our people have become a degenerate, which we were that same way at one point too. Okay, until we woke up to this truth, until the Lord woke us up to this truth, Salakia. Okay, because we didn't do nothing. All right, we were doing as the heathen. Okay, we were into this so-called uh, holiday. Okay, this Christmas. Okay, now. Jeremiah 10 and 2, it says, Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. That's them, man. Let them do their thing, okay? We're not supposed to be getting into this. If a brother get caught with a, a Christmas hat or Santa Claus hat on, strong rebuke to come with that, okay? Like, what the hell are you doing, brother? You know? So, you know, just stay out of the spirit of Christmas. We're supposed to be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Okay? In a, a, a serious spirit, okay? Um, Jeremiah 10 and 2, Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them, okay? And they are, okay? Like we just had this, um, what was it? The, the great alignment or the great conjunction that they, that they called it, which happened, hasn't happened for hundreds of years. Okay, this is a sign, all right? All right, and I'm gonna drop down to three. It says, for the customs of the people are vain, meaning they're empty, okay? And the heavenly father hates that, okay? For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Now tell me what this sound like. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the ax. What do people do at Christmas? They go chop down a pine tree, Okay, they don't much do it like they used to, 
okay? Go cut the tree out of the woods. Now it's been made more convenient. You know, you still got some that are super duper traditional and they'll hit the woods and go cut a tree. A lot of them go to these Christmas tree farms and some just go get a plastic tree out of Walmart or whatever store, you know, Target or whatever else, okay? So when you read this, it puts the picture into your mind for the one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workman with an axe. Well, damn, what is this talking about? Well, let's get a little more deep. The scripture is going to get a little more detail. They deck it with silver and with gold. There's a song, silver and gold, silver and, you know, you got the, the tinsel hanging on the tree, you know, because poor folks got to have tinsel. You know, they don't have actual silver and gold hanging off their trees, okay? It says, uh, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers down at the bottom. You put the stand down there, okay? It says that it move not, all right? They are upright as the palm tree, you know, palm tree is upright, but speak not. They don't speak. They must needs be born or carried because they cannot go. They can't get up and do nothing on their own. Now, if people get up under that tree, they put their kids under their tree. They get on that tree with them gifts. They worship that tree. They got a song called, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas, blah, 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 you know? They worship that tree. But here it is, the scripture saying, and it's an idol. It must needs be born. Why? Because it can't do nothing on its own. You got to carry it. But our people, then they had their children to bow down under that tree. To what? Receive gifts. You okay? They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. All right? For as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Okay? And the Heavenly Father don't like no gods before him, okay? Everybody say they know the Ten Commandments. Well, what about that? You worship in a tree, okay? Which has, which is, goes back to pagan origins, okay? Now, I'm going to end it right there. We shouldn't be celebrating Christmas, okay? All right? And I think the point has been made, all right? And I'm pretty sure many brothers are going to go in because at this point, if you're still celebrating Christmas, man, oh, boy, you know, you're, you're totally, you're gone, man, okay? And if, if you're Israelite and you're celebrating Christmas, doubly so, okay? Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. And I'm going to end it right there and give all praise on and glory to you. How about Shem Shai? By Shemrakakudash, don't let them women coax you into the shit. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be putting no tree in your house. If you're doing that, you're going the hell off, man. Okay. Don't then don't do it to a plea, appease no damn woman. Look, I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't do that. That ain't even if she don't know you in the truth, which I couldn't see cohabitating with a woman and she not knowing that I'm about my father's business, okay, is quoting the Lord, okay? If she don't know that, then, you know, hey, hey, whatever. That, that, it would be hard for me to cohabitate with a woman and she, which I'm not even trying to do that, you know, but don't put no tree in your house to appease your old lady and your children, man, because they shouldn't be into that shit like that neither, all right? And, you know, hey, double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings until the elect is on to the next one. Until then, I say shalom.